Yes, people, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, where have you been, bro? Where the heck have you been? Eh? Them people with dry bone hanging. First, you know, them times you're recording something, you hear something in the background, you just have to stop. But anyways, people, thank you for your patience. Thank you for, you know, uh, how would I say it? Just being patient with me. Things are obviously hectic for me right now. Finally, my season is finished. My flex season is finished. As those of you know, I'm an athlete as well. I have to train quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. And YouTube as well requires a lot of time as well. So I'm, I'm happy, you know trying to balance both things and yeah we're back on the youtube team yeah we're going to, obviously don't forget as well we will continue to record in the studio i thought let me try something new let me try something different you know i've always had this idea um i want to do like a podcast reaction thing react to other podcast shows and just general things that's happening around our culture wise and society and then have my little input on things this also gives me an opportunity to learn and yeah, know things that I don't know, basically. But yeah, let me stop waffling and let's get right into it. Yes, uh, we've got an interesting video today. Uh, quite a controversial person to be fair with you. He does have a, for me, you know, how do I see him? I see him as someone who's inspiration on one side and then someone who just, all that hard work you've been doing is just kill it off by, you know, doing something, saying something stupid, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to look into someone that is called Andrew Tate. I hope I haven't butchered his last name, but yeah, uh, let me know in the comment, you know, if I butchered his last name. But Andrew Tate, um, what would I say, you know, obviously, uh, background history, MMA fire, uh, millionaire say that as well um, globally um entrepreneur you know businessman um business mindset and someone who has a very big ego but well, we're gonna jump into that and i'm gonna let you guys know on my thoughts and what i think on him on certain things you say so i've actually looked on youtube and i've got some compilations on him so we're not obviously gonna look at the whole 10 minute podcast, one hour podcast. It's just a little, little glimpse of, you know, why this person is so controversial on social media. Why the hate, love, you know, it's got quite good, you know, following. So I want to see what people say about him and also give him an opportunity to learn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get cracking and let me stop waffling. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, make sure you support us on the YouTube. Uh, not on the YouTube, yeah, of course, sorry, yeah, support us on the YouTube platform. I want to hit 100 subscribers by the before my birthday, guys. My birthday is October the 24th. Before my birthday, I want to hit 100 subscribers. That's a good gift to start off, well, to start off a good 26. But yes, people, before my birthday, I want to actually hit 100 subscribers and make sure you check us out on the Instagram as well, where we post day to day uh, content. I will be doing something called Insta Live Show, where we have my cast people, them, you know, who come to the show, who support us through this grind. Yeah, we're going to have a little live stream uh, show there as well. And also, I am thinking about doing a live stream for YouTube as well. Yeah, just to grow the numbers up and build up the interactions. Now that I'm finally back, I hope I'm going to actually be consistent because this is poor. This is very poor for me. I am obviously Mr. Consistent and this is not consistent. It's not proven it. So I'm going to bring back my AK. Don't worry about that. Yep. So let's get on with the video. Uh, let me load this thing up. 
Yes, sir. Mr. Andrew Tate in the building. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. There was a crazy dude. At the, there was a crazy. There was a crazy. There was a crazy man at the door, and not a single woman stood up to fight. Why is that? Why is that? I mean, I thought we were the camera over here. Damn. We're definitely not equal. I would have fought. Mm -hmm. yeah. I Man, I protectors. I would have. I would have. I would have. You were doing shit. I'm, 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 a I'm a black belt. 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 i am a Everyone just vibing, you know, the alcohol's in the system, you know what I'm saying? So, that I like that one, Taekwon Ho, but I don't want to get slapped, so I ain't going to say it to no one, you know what I'm saying? So, but, so far, and you see what I mean? Everyone just cracking up here as well, so you can tell it was a joke still, so I loved how everyone just reacted to that in a positive way, so, carry on. Oh, he is so gassed up oh, after that joke. I tell you, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take her and stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo. I love that. That shit has to be bad, bro. You know what? I want to make something clear. You know what? Slim. Even Slim, even though we disagree on nearly every point, yes. you, you've been a very polite young lady. Always. Yeah. You have. You've been a very polite young lady, Always. and, you're, and you're, a very, you're a nice person. Thank you. And, and I have no problem disagreeing with you on certain points, and I still think you're a very nice young lady. And if any, crazy mo if any more crazy men come to the door, I'll fuck them up. <laughs> what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I have to go to work today. Oh, that sounds fun. How the fuck are you going to get rich if you're doing that shit? You ain't got time. But when you're a G... You just accidentally like pimping hoes. Like you, you go somewhere, there's some bitch. She's like, hi. You're like, yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm the man. Oops, you fuck her. Oops, and now she's in love with you and shit. The real G's know what I'm saying. Like, you're pimping bitches. You don't even want her. So you're pimping bitches. So when you're pimping bitches like me, it's a full time job. You ever tried talking to 30 girls at once? Like, actually. 30 girls. Mr. Andrew Tate, please teach me. Let me get my notebook out because. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. God. Hey, girls, never. Yeah. Stick to one. One queen only. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you know about African thing, they get about 50 or 60. But, yeah. Hey, girls. Just, this is obviously like now his ego talking. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, i got to show the other. And it's a bit of showing off as well to the people or to the guys themselves, you know. As most guys would say, the more girls I have, it shows my level of wealth or my level of confidence around females or my level of ego or where I am in life, like how females fall for me. But it is interesting how his mindset works and why, you know, he's recommending this amount of females or why you should talk to this amount of females. I mean, it's fair if you are single, um, of course, be respectful, but at the same time, you know, have an open mind of your preference and try to figure out what you want in life and the type of female that suits you best. But at the same time, I wouldn't go with that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. How are you? Fine. Dude. Like 30 bit thing. It's a full time job. So, here's what you do elite level players. Yeah, I love how he says elite level players because this is how you know that's how that's what I was talking about earlier. The ego is talking right now. Elites, it's not a Mr. Tate. Teach me, please. You start arguments with them hoes, but you don't start them, you let them start them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You like be a little bit obtuse, a little bit like you know, just so they go, What's your problem? and they start some shit. Then, when they start some shit, you get them over and you fuck them. After you fuck them, you say, Listen, bitch. In person, you're fine. But on WhatsApp, you're always talking crap. And you're always doing my head in. And here's what your G's got to do. You get your bitches. You add them to a Telegram channel. One channel per hoe. Where they can read your messages. Did you guys get that? So, make a Telegram account. 
make a channel and then one channel per hub. Wow. Let's carry on. Let's see what he's trying to, you know, what, what he's trying to do here. I wanna, I'm interested. Reply, and you block them everywhere else. Hear me out. Ah, that's then wild. when you wake up in the morning, you write a generic, good morning, baby. Got lots to do today. Got to patrol the streets. Got to flex on the broke boys. Got to make money. Got to check on my casinos. Got to pimp other hoes. But if I have some time, I might try to see you. Miss you very much. Copy and paste it in every channel to every bitch. And they'll read that shit. But then they can't go, well, you're always busy. You're always with other hoes. They can't reply to you. Do you <laughs> Guys, conked out. Like, who does this? I don't know the people. I'm gonna make money like you. You, 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 because I don't want to jump into something else. So let's stick to the video, okay? Because that's wild. That is wild. You don't see the brilliance? All they can do is read it. Then, when you want to fuck them, you hit them on the Telegram channel. We'll be calling you in a few minutes. So, end that, end that using females then, if you think about it. Because, okay, cool. You're texting them and uh, how would I say it? Texting, Telegram, because you know they can't reply back, you know, and then sort of waiting for you to reply back, and then you're, you you go through them. You're like, okay, well, I like this one. Let me let me you know unlock it and then re reply to a message. Come over, and the fact that she actually comes over, like that's crazy. Like females, do better. Like stop stop falling for these tricks, yeah, because. There's the streets, the people out there are mad, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, that's crazy. This is a crazy um thing to even suggest to anyone because I don't feel like this. Yeah, I feel like I'm going out in a out line now. So let me carry on the video because I'll have a lot to say on this. So let's carry on. Stay by your phone. Unblock, call, come here, let's fuck. Actually, I'm tired of you. Okay, bye, boom. So, when I write these things and I put them on Instagram, I expect all you fuckers to pay attention. And so those of you that know about these kind of things, yeah, and I've actually looked at his Instagram and he actually writes some of these um, poetry or maybe bars in the UK, they say. So he feels like he has bars, um, which is some of them are very like, you know, semi, because I don't know what he's... Where his headspace is at at, a, at that time, he's actually writing it, and then you read it, and you're just like, "What the hell?" So sometimes I don't actually blame the people. It's just like, you know, people want more information and more detailed. Um, so yeah, let's see what he's actual. I think he's gonna probably pick one of them and explain to us what he's, he's actually meant. Um, so let's Be impressed. see. And just to make sure. I'm going to read them to you because I have people say to me, oh, but when I, I've heard other people read them back to me, right? And they read it and the timing's all wrong. And the poem doesn't sound good because they're, they're stupid. So yeah. I'm going to read them to make sure they're read correctly. Let's go, sir. I show less than I have to stay tasteful. I'm still catching hate because they're hateful. Too much food out the gate, it's Ooh. a plateful. Now your girl's full of tape what? and she's grateful. I show less than I what? earn because I'm humble. Your bitch in my ride because you bull. fumbled. Yes, I hear a couple pussy fumble. men grumble. But they don't try and step, Rumble. I don't stumble. I show less than I stumble. know, I've stopped talking. Split the bullshit from what? truth, I've been clocking. See me sit and don't Clock. speak like I'm hawking. But there's feet behind Hawk talk, it. bitch, I'm walking. I show less than I love, Walk but I it. miss her. <laughs> back to the last day I kissed her. She left a sore on my heart, hey. there's a blister. But I fucked the next best thing, mm. that's her sister. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how we do it, Mr. Tate. <laughs> that's how we do it. But obviously, that's... <sighs> Let's move on. If I get myself in trouble, if I speak 
I'm in big trouble. Let's carry on. But let me know what you guys think about this um, poetry or bar or whatever you want to call it. Let me know. Out of 10. I'm going to give this out of 10... 4.5. It's okay. It's got rhymes. It's got, you know, wordplay. It's okay. But yeah, I'm going to give this 4.5. Sorry, when it comes to music and bars, I'm very, very strict. But yeah. How is that on. not beautiful? Because you people are dumb. Food out the gate, that's a plateful. Food is English slang for drugs. I'm moving drugs. Plate, food. You don't get it. You don't get the little little pieces of beauty that are in my writing. <laughs> and I, I love how he's just so um, passionate about his own work. And I feel like in life, you should be very passionate about your own work, regardless what anyone ever says to you. Regardless what anyone ever says to you. And I feel like this is an example of like, you lot can do whatever you want to do, but I know I'm the, I know I'm the shit, basically. I know I'm the shit. So, yeah. Um, he clearly does something not mentally okay with him, but if he thinks his, his work is up there with the best, then yeah, why not? I've decided that Goldeneye, the movie Goldeneye, is my life story. I've decided it's basically completely accurate. That your life stories are Forrest Gump. Now I know you're thinking, oh, Forrest Gump, that's not too bad a choice actually because I get to become a shrimp billionaire and do all these interesting things. But no, it's very interesting. If you watch Forrest Gump, the, I remember this specifically because the, the beginning scene is a feather. Forrest is the feather and that life has blown him in all these strange directions and he has no real control over the directions. He kind of just, he's lucky and unlucky. He's fortunate and misfortunate. And he just kind of, his life is just the result are being blown in all these random directions. And he doesn't actually have any influence over his life. If you look at Goldeneye, Bond makes things happen. That's who I am. I make shit happen. Forrest Gump is the story of a man who falls in love with some bitch, who runs off to be a hoe, and then once he's a shrimp billionaire, she comes back as a single mom with AIDS, and he fucks her and gets AIDS. That's the end. This is the, un, this is the unspoken ending of Forrest Gump. That bitch dies, and it's him and its son at the end of the bus. Oh, well, I'm going to put you on the bus, son. It's supposed to be a happy ending. Anyone with a brain is actually sitting there thinking, no, now Forrest is going to die. Now he has AIDS. And I mean, yeah, that is true. So. But I don't understand the, the story behind this. But obviously, I understand the concept of, you know, the whole, uh, what's it called? So basically the mom did whatever, she has AIDS, and then he comes, does whatever with her, now he has AIDS, and, and then he's probably thinking, or the people are probably thinking, yeah, they're going to live, or the dad's going to live forever with the child, but clearly not, because if you have AIDS, that's bad news, as you know, so I guess there's, the child lives, the child, the child is basically the only person that lives, and then both parents die and which is quite sad so now child support and everything else and all that so i hope i'm right if you guys know about this or what he's trying to talk about here or what he's, whatever he's trying to say here let me know in the comment as well because i'm actually interested in this and uh, where his headspace is at and what he's trying to ex you know explain and all that i hope i'm right i hope but yeah let me know in the comment as well and that's yeah. gonna be an orphan kid what a sad story what a shit life you finally become a shrimp billionaire. Pretty you sad story. Used up pussy from the drug addict. You now got AIDS. You literally got AIDS. Not like Damn. as in making hard, it will give you AIDS. Like actually, you got them. You literally dropped the bomb there on them. Can we just look at the the background? Hey, look at that. That's goals right there. Look at that view. I love that view. I love views like this, you know, just wake up in the morning, pretty much just stand by the window and just enjoy, enjoy the view, nature and things like that. But yeah, sorry, I just, I just enjoyed that view. That's a stack of letters talking about, you should have been here, you should have paid this, now it's more. I have never once opened a piece of mail and it was like, hi Andrew, here's money. Never. It's always, hi, Andrew, give me money. You guys know what I'm going to say, right? You guys know what I'm going to say. 
Things like this is what I love about him. Not the other part where he talks about females because I feel like he has whatsoever like respect or information on how to treat a female. I feel like that's ignore that part of him. But things like this when it comes to like um observing people like him like never receiving money people never receiving money from anyone it's always him that's ha always having to give you know and i can actually relate to that because i'm kind of a person who always gives and i'm not saying that's, that's a big problem it's always you know i enjoy giving by the way i enjoy giving um and yeah i do have people that also give back you know what i'm saying but I would say majority of my life is always like here, 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 and then you know before they realize, oh, let me actually give this guy something back, and it's too late because I'm, I'm just like, oh, now you want to, uh, now you come to your, you know, senses now. You need to give me something back. But honestly, I I can relate to that, you know, and it is sometimes annoying because it's not like you go. It's not like you go through the mindset of when I give you, I'm expecting something back. It's not like that. It's just like when you're repeatedly giving, and as for, as as if you are a person who enjoys that part of just because I don't know. Sometimes you tell yourself like, ah, oh, I should stop doing this, and then you just don't. You just like, oh, someone's birthday coming, boom. Next year, their birthday again. Oh, I need to get them something, boom, 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 boom. And you literally, and you're, when your birthday comes, they're like, ah. Oh, you know, they might give you something, but not the same value. You know, I hope it makes sense here. If if you're kind of that person who's always giving, you know, let me know in the comment like, um, your situationship and how you feel about that. Like, are you do you feel like it's right, even though it's not right? But do you feel like you need to tell that person like, you know, you need to do the same as put the same energy basically as I put in when I'm giving you, and also. What is it like? What is the value? Is the value like, like, uh, when I say value, I mean like when you give that gift, is it really like a gift? Is they always wanted, and then the value, their value, the value is there for them. And then when is your turn? Is their value here? Like it's not really the gift that gets you overwhelmed, overwhelmed or crazy reaction or whatever. So yeah, let me know. I feel I feel like I waffled there a lot. But yeah, hope you guys get a point here. Yeah? Let All me know. Time. When I was broke, I thought, if I ever get rich, I'm going to make sure nobody can send me mail. I've never had anything good. <laughs> that was court date. You killed this guy. You drove at 200 miles an hour down the fucking highway. You owe me this much because of oh, whatever. Oh. It's bullshit. I'm sure right now, even though I have a net worth of $25 million, if I had a place, people could send me mail. 25 million. Can we just pause there? 25 million! Okay. We're coming. To even have a net worth of 1 million is crazy. And this guy, 25 million. You can tell why people, a lot of people don't like him, but he doesn't give a fuck. Sorry for swearing, but he does not give a heck. But yeah, I guess it's a good mindset, you know. All rich people have this kind of mindset, you know. It's a good mindset to have because at the end of the day, your opinion is the only thing that matters the most because you only get one life, YOLO. Mm -hmm. Still be sending me pieces of paper saying I owe them shit, or I have to be somewhere. Ooh, I sped in Austria. Maybe I'm supposed. To, maybe I'm a wanted fugitive in Austria. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? Maybe I'm supposed to be in court today. But no, I'm not there. Do you know why? Because I have no mailbox. Big and strong like brand. <laughs> Pink Lambo <laughs> floss so. like candy. Ooh, here comes, here the, comes the boss. Can't ban Ooh. me. I made a quick twitch. That's ban handy. Me. Bad man stock. Handy. Big man shock. Don't walk the talk. Run the block. Got a beauty queen bitch Block. on lock, and she's 19, just Block. like my Glock. Grab her bust, I got wanderlust. Thrust to just, about to combust. I stay robust with her mistrust, because the love's a must, bitch is gold dust. I got a money bag I'm hiding. Mm. Too many supercars I'm riding. Mm. Chicks like this pick mm. I'm deciding, in which DMs I'm about mm. to be sliding.
pink. Ooh. Okay. That one was good, dude. I, I'm not gonna lie. That one was good. You know what? I'm gonna give that a six. I'm gonna give that a six. That was good. That was really good. Let me hear that again. If I give a final, you know. Let me hear that again. Let me hear that again, Mr. Tate. Uh, hold on. Uh, did it too far. But anyways, you guys get a point. This. Come on, get to the, get to the boss. Was strong like brandy. Pink Lambo floss mm. like candy. Made the rich list mm. can't ban me. I made a quick twitch mm. that's handy. Bad man stuck, what? big man shock. Don't walk the talk, run the block. Got a beauty queen bitch on lock. And she's 19, okay. she's like my Glock. Gra what? What the fuck? She's what? She's 19, like my Glock. How old is Andrew Tate? Let me check. She's getting real right now. Sorry, I have to get my phone out because I need to check this shit out. Uh... Andrew! What is going on here? How old is Andrew Tate? How old? He's thirty-five. What's your profanity? I, I gave this bot a six. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I would take that back because that is a what's your profanity? Going on here. Let's go. Let's. What? Alright, cool. Boss like candy. Made the rich list can't ban me. I made a quick twitch that's handy. Bad man stock, big man shock. Don't walk the talk, run the block. Got a beauty queen bitch on lock. And she's 19, just like my Glock. Grab or bust, I got wanderlust. Thrust to just, about to combust. I stay robust with her mistrust. Cause the love's a must, bitch is gold dust. I got a money bag I'm hiding. Too many supercars I'm riding. Okay. Chicks like this pick, I'm if deciding. If we just remove the 19, I'm about to like my slide. Glock. She's Can 19, like, like my Glock. I would have given it a good six. But that, that line alone, just minus two. Yeah, so you're back to 4.5. Oh, should I say 4? Yeah, that's some beautiful crap. But anyways, we move. Because we ain't about that life. He's got money. He can do whatever he wants, I guess. So, wish him all the best in that part. Yeah. Pink Lambo floss like candy. Flossing is like flexing. Candy floss <laughs> is pink. My Lamborghini is pink. Do you understand the brilliance? No, of course you don't. You don't understand any of it. She's 19 like my Glock. Glock 19. I guess maybe the like energy. he's not really talking about um, going out with 19 year olds, but maybe he's talking about the Glock. That's 19. But anyway, people, help me out in the comment, you know, because I don't feel like it's appropriate to write that, to write something like that. But then again, it is what it is. Bars are bars, but I wouldn't write that if it was for me. But no, I'm as humble as they come. I'm a nice guy. For that reason, I decided to make this Christmas message to inspire all of you lessers, you peons, to one day possibly get onto my level. So this is going to be an inspiring message for you all. Sorry about that. Obviously, I'm trying to film my Christmas message and they sent a very polite man to tell me that although I spent $10,000 on this hotel suite,
God, when will it be my turn? God, when will it be my turn? 10,000. I want to know what hotel this is in London because clearly that's crazy. Like, money like that to be wasted on hotels. Is that one night or one week or I don't even know. Let me check again. Let's, let's see, let's see. Sorry about that. Obviously, I'm trying to film my Christmas message and they sent a very polite man to tell me that although I spent $10,000 on this hotel suite, over Christmas, along with all the other rich Qataris and everyone else who has the great idea of staying in such a beautiful hotel in London, that I'm not allowed to smoke. <laughs> I said for ten thousand dollars a night, my friend. I'm gonna ten thousand dollars, ten thousand pounds, not dollars a night. What hotel is that in London? Please let me know, cause I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Ten thousand pounds a night. Imagine spending five nights. What? Imagine spending ten nights. What? What? Oh god damn man. Well yeah, he spends ten thousand you know a night. I guess he's a type two if you are your net worth is twenty five million, so that's nothing to you. But honestly, people like us, ordinary people like us, that's something to us, please. In my bank account, I'll drop that. I've got things to do. I've got plans for that money. Yeah, but yeah, I guess if your if your net worth is twenty five million, and you spend ten thousand pounds a night, he's gonna tell you. Plus, he's probably not even gonna listen to them anyways, because regardless, the, you know the manager of the hotels they need that money. So let him do what he needs to do, or what what he wants to do, or whatever the fuck I want. So I apologize for the interruption. Dude, you wake up when the alarm goes off. <laughs> you go to your job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, you, <laughs> you go to your job. Taking a piss out of the guy. Because personally, I wouldn't have that. I was taking a piss now. You know. There are people who are doing the nine to five struggling. This guy's just out here just mocking him. Yeah. Take it a piss. <sighs> Crazy. You get paid your wages. Oh god. And you're like, how did Tate get all that money? That guy has a hundred million dollars. And here I am, slaving away. And maybe at the end of the month I might get five or six thousand. I can pay my 401k. But I don't want you to ever give up. Because that's what this Christmas message is about. I don't need to ever give up. I might have to call my boat Bigger Daddy. <laughs> Biggest Daddy. Shit. <laughs> I sit in the sun. You sit in the sun and tell you why. Fahrenheit is the best way to measure the temperature. Why don't scientists use it? Scientists! <laughs> <laughs> scientists use Kelvin! Dumbass. I thought you were smart. I knew you were going to rip off with some science crap. I'd already had your answer. The answer's fucking Kelvin. Celsius is a fucking tag along. Celsius is a wannabe. What besides the weather do you ever measure the temperature of in your life? Ever. When's the last time when it wasn't weather related, you thought I need to know the temperature of this? <laughs> fucking never. <laughs> never <laughs> that is true. And when scientists need to know, they use what? Kelvin. Kelvin, correct. Wouldn't you like to be able to say, oh, it's 85 today or it's 92 today? Isn't that cooler than saying it's 29.3 or 29.9? True or false? Okay, true. True! So it's a fucking I guess it's true. And if kilometers and fucking meters and all this other crap wasn't so useful, no one would even use it. It's just a tag along. Fahrenheit makes more sense. I often like to write romantic poems because when I write romantic poems, bitches send it to my inbox and go, is this for me? And I say, yeah. Here we go again. For all y'all. Here we go. Who's ready? The moon was missing from our darkest night. Mm. I planted a oh, where's my thing? Stars where's my thing? Let me get, let me get my thing out. I wanted our love to shine, but it grew too bright. Mm. The sun brought to light. Our end is in sight. In sight. Heartbroken punches call them mood swings. Swing. I'm the king of the ring with heartbreak, heartbreak. to break. 
You dealt with the dong, I deal with the ding. Hey. Took a shot in the heart, and I'm feeling the sting. sting. I'm wanting to ride horses in a rainstorm. I have a cold stare, but my heart's warm. Mm. I didn't show love, I try to reform. My sleeve's kind of worn because my heart's torn. Should I get you back or make you cry? Make you forgive me or fuck up your life? It's going to be a battle, but I'm built to supply, and I'm training to fight in the heat of Dubai. Dubai! <laughs> okay, what, do, what should you rate this one? I didn't get some part of it, but I feel like you give it a good go. Give it a good go. It's not, it's not as bad as the other one, because I feel like that was hell no, basically. Um, I'm going to give this one a... I'll give this one a five. Cause um, cause I can, and because I'm, cause it's not as bad as the you know the the others. But I feel like yeah, this one's probably the best one. But I really like the other one, the middle one, the whole you know, pink Lambo all that yeah. But anyways, this one's good. This one's good. Okay, let's carry on. Boom boom boom. Don't call out no gangster shit. Come out with that love shit. <laughs> Who wants to ride horses in a rainstorm? You know how many bitches want to ride horses in a rainstorm? I wonder what he's referring my to My sleeve's kind of worn and my heart's torn. As in, I wear my heart on my sleeve and it's worn because I've been wearing my heart on my sleeve too long and now I'm damaged, poor Andrew. You understand? Ah, ah you cheated, you cheated. I just, oh. <laughs> and then I grab you by your neck again. Then what the fuck are you going to do when your face is collapsed? <laughs> shit, but cry. You're going to fucking cry your eyes out. What? Oh. And there is people. That is Andrew Tate for you. Sorry. That's Andrew Tate for you people. Honestly, what an interesting video. Uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot of uh, controversial. Uh, quite missed information or missed, you know, whatever. There was a few things maybe we could have gone into details and um, this is a very short compilation I just wanted to see who this guy is and what he's about even though I have seen him on Instagram and YouTube I just want to know how his mind works and what he's trying to say basically right for my from watching this my conclusion I would say he does have some part of him where you know I would like to listen to it to like business mindset of like hard work and not giving a heck what people say or think about you um yeah just chasing your dreams and aspirations and whatever you want to achieve in life basically that i like about him and the other part the way he sees females and ways like how he treats females and yeah it's not cool you know what would be so interesting if he has like a sibling, if he has a sister and then a guy like that treats her the way he treats females. I reckon he would probably, because he's an MMA fighter as well, so I reckon yeah, he'd probably fuck him up or whatever. Um, it's interesting, 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 interesting guy, honestly. But yes, my first ever reaction video guys, let me know out of 10, you know, is this something we can keep doing or is it something that you don't like you just want us to stay to the stick stick to the studio um kind of vibe well let me know if this is something you guys want as well um i'm trying to boost up the numbers um so yeah we got a target to hit before my birthday the 24th of october 100 subscribers i can't please please let's try hit that um, also make sure you follow us I'm gonna put it somewhere here follow us on Instagram uh, Twitter uh, yeah available on all platforms Facebook uh, Instagram yeah also check us out I'm more active on Instagram because I feel like that's where we really get more interactions and stuff like that but we will build up the other platforms and things like that as well and yeah people let me leave you and love you. Thank you so much. Don't worry. I'm going to be consistent with the YouTube video. And thank you for keep, for supporting us, honestly. And um, supporting.
always crazy whenever someone approaches me, the people who I meet, the people who have actually subscribed, they meet me, they're like, yo, where's the video at, man? What's going on? And I always tell them, yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, but honestly, man, just little, thi just little things like that, you know, it makes me like, oh, this guy actually cares or he's like, he wants us to do well and stuff like that. Honestly, I appreciate you guys and just keeping on my toes and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, people, thank you. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Just Unplug um, YouTube channel and make sure you check us out on social media on Just Unplug. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. Peace out.